doing this. This is what Josh was doing. Babe. Get a, get a closer this looks nice. All right, what are we doing? Good morning from Paris. <laughs> Technically day one. Um, yesterday we just got to the Airbnb, got settled. Oh yeah, we went to the grocery because when you're in Europe, it's a good idea to go shop for supplies. It's way cheaper. Okay, so we have fun activities today, except I'm still shooting my Dyson thing because this thing is amazing. Hi, welcome to my Dyson tutorial as Joshua makes breakfast in our 24 square foot in our 24 square foot Airbnb. I don't know how I'm gonna live without this. When I We're at Joshua's surprise. How do you feel about this? <laughs> so excited. You're not familiar with Gustav Klimt. He is one of the fathers of Viennese secession. Yeah, secession does not mean <laughs> Vienna was seceding from a country. That's what I thought. Sorry. <laughs> Gustav Klimt was the very first artist, and he led this revolution uh, to create art that were more of erotic. And to the people at that time, it was a little bit scandalous. Klimt favorite subject was the human body has always said that if you if you wanted to know what he wanted you should just look to his artwork and remember this was in Vienna so this was during the time that Sigmund Freud who talked about eroticism and the subconscious and one man one you know had had his theories out there's a really interesting way of showing all of the art all at once yeah we were literally like inside of the art yeah. I just saw the Eiffel Tower for the first time. And? And? I almost cried. It took me by surprise. So weird. I, I didn't think I'd react that way. Yes. <laughs> So it used to be a broadcasting tower. Do you know all this? A lot of towers in Europe started out. Like uh, this was constructed in 1887 to 1889 as an entrance to the World's Fair. But also across the street from the Eiffel Tower, what most people don't see is that the Statue of Liberty is right, across is right the here too. <laughs> No, it's just it's always been so weird because we've seen the Eiffel Tower growing up on TV, in postcards, everywhere. And it's like when you see it and it's right there, it's it's such a weird experience. It's overwhelming. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry that I that I don't have that kind of reaction. <laughs> I think the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, that's really dope. And uh, uh -huh. I actually filmed a segment of a video in the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. like at the top. I, I think I talked about some sort of Android. News. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, it was an old Android authority. Oh wow! Um, I can pull it up later, but uh, at this point, this is like my fourth time yeah. seeing it. So. Well, I get silly over things like that. Like, for example, I remember going to Cambodia, and Cambodia was never really something on my bucket list. Yeah. And when I was there, and I was at the Angkor Wat, I was like, "This is so pretty," <laughs> and it's just like. I don't know. It, it's just it's different when you see it in photos and when you see it in real life. For example, when now we rise there, so mm -hmm. that, that's in our money. That's in the 20 peso bill. Yeah. But the first time I ever saw it, I was like, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I 
don't know what's going on here, but this one's pretty bridge. Uh, again, I don't even know what's going on here. It's not the art district, but it's still a pretty bridge. I know, but <laughs> it's like everything's pretty. Oh my god, it's just it. I didn't realize it would be this big. I thought it was the size of a building. An Instagram photo. <laughs> I'm <laughs> What are you saying? I said you are Nakaka Inishin. <laughs> Look at that! I'm just gonna walk and you're gonna follow me and then you're going to lose your shit. <laughs> Babe! Because I'm over here like, let me show you this view. And then three quarters of the way there, you lose your shit. <laughs> <laughs> You have no right to make fun of any tourist ever. Again. I'm not making fun of <laughs> I make fun of them from a place of love because that's how I am. That was the Eiffel Tower. I lost my shit so many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's I don't know how to explain it. I mean I'm probably gonna feel that too. But oh look at that. Every time I look at that direction. How good is it? It's really good, but you're the one that's almost crying. Yeah. <laughs> 